Hello Twin Flames, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance and we are here for your Twin Flame reading for June 2021. I hope everyone is well, thank you for being here, thank you for those who have recently subscribed, uh, much appreciated and I hope this reading gives you clarity. So whoever you are, wherever you are on your Twin Flame journey, if you think you've met your twin, if you know you've been on the journey for several years, whatever resonates with you, let's move in and see where you are on your journey to reunion. As always, I'm using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with the fifth dimension and the angelic realm. Same kind of thing. <laughs> the deck that I'm using is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. Hmm. I'm hearing, as I do this on the table, smoothing things over. Somebody wants to smooth the situation over. Okay, let's do this. Calling on the divine, the higher angels and ascended masters from the pure white light. Please guide me in this twin flame reading for the collective. This is for the month of June 2021. Twin flame energies, please Michael, for the collective June 2021. I'm seeing a big letter A in my head. May mean something to someone. Capital A. I'm hearing and I'm ready. And I'm ready. Okay. <sighs> okay, a lot of energy in this deck. The deck's feeling very heavy. Um, Michael, who do we have with us, please? Thank you. Okay, that needed to be seen. Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Michael. And that one. Wow. Sun in reverse. Crossed with the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody, maybe a Leo in the mix. Somebody may be wanting to connect with a Leo. But in the reverse, this is somebody maybe who doesn't have any clarity about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is also someone who feels as if they've lost their happiness. We also have maybe a fire sign woman here who is maybe a bit angry, maybe a bit upset. She's not taking action. Okay. As you know, um, Archangel Michael does not permit me to cut the deck for Twin Flame readings, guys. So the cards are going straight onto the table. The top line representing the energy of the masculine. Below the energy of the feminine. Every reader reads energies differently. I tend to concentrate on, let's say, the third dimensional energy within the fifth dimension. Okay. So, or I should say relating to the fifth dimension. So I really look at what may be happening in real terms. Okay. As opposed to just energetic, because so many of you contact me saying, well, it's all very well knowing I may reunite with my twin energetically in the fifth dimension, but is a relationship really going to happen? Are we really going to come together in this lifetime? So that is why I'm feeling it might be helpful for you guys to read the energies as such, okay? Many of you won't agree, many of you will. Okay, nearly there. All right, Michael's saying that's very important for someone. Someone is nearly there. Somebody is on their way. Somebody is taking charge, I'm hearing, of their situation. Card in the centre we will look at, that is the energy between the twins by around about the end of June. Remember guys, we are looking at universal timing underneath the deck. Five of Wands in the reverse. Somebody doesn't want to argue anymore. I don't want any more disagreements. I don't want any problems. Wow. <sighs> Sorry, I have to show you, we've got the Divine Masculine underneath that. We may have a divine masculine who's come out of inner conflict, I'm hearing, not relying on other people's opinions and is taking action maybe to connect, reconnect, I'm hearing, with maybe, maybe this queen of wands. Okay, guys, very interesting energy. 
somebody the emperor may know, or rather I should say the divine masculine may know, is unhappy, is a bit upset. And maybe wants to, I'm hearing, rebalance the scales. Okay. If you're ready, let's delve in. First of all, let's have a look at the energy the Divine Masculine is sitting in, what he's experiencing at this moment, how he's feeling, what he's thinking about. It could be simply his zodiac sign. Let's have a look. Yes, Nine of Swords in reverse. This Masculine has been very much up in his head. Very stressed, sleepless nights, trying to get clarity. As to, as to I'm hearing, <clears throat> wow, my throat chakra's just closed. Oh, nearly losing my voice. As to what action he should take, he or she, right? Trying to get clarity. Clarity has come through. And the masculine is fully aware of how he's going to get out of the energy of feeling very alone, very disappointed, very isolated, very confused. He knows now what he wants to do. He's got clarity as to, I'm hearing, how to change a situation. We move now down to the first card. This will represent the feminine's energy. And we'll be seeing how she's feeling, what she's thinking about, and maybe what's, um, what she's planning on doing. For the month of June. The Tower in reverse. Scorpio and Aries energy. This is someone who has faced a tower moment. Something's broken down in her life. It could be anything. It could be a relationship. It could be potentially a job that has been lost. It could be a family member who's passed. Whatever this was, was shocking. And whatever this was caused the foundation of something that she felt was solid to disintegrate. We also have someone who may be coping with going through a spiritual awakening, which has kind of made her look at things I'm hearing in a very different way. Okay. I'm really struggling speaking in this reading. It's very strange. I feel as if I've got a lot of energy around me. So forgive me, guys. Moving now to the second card for the masculine. This will portray how he views the divine feminine from his perspective. What he believes is on her mind, what he believes she's feeling at this time. Knight of Wands. So we have more fire energy. The divine masculine may feel as if the divine Feminine is moving on with her life. She's moving forward with passion. I'm hearing ambition, drive, strength, energy. Michael's underlining the word strength. Okay, so strength is relating to Leo and we've got the sun here. So we could be looking at a divine feminine who has Leo in her chart or is connecting to a Leo. But this is someone who has gone through a lot of challenges. She's wanting to progress. I'm hearing she's not letting anything or anyone stop her moving forward in the direction of her dreams. Okay, so this is somebody very driven. Now, it could well be that the Divine Masculine is believing that the Divine Feminine is moving towards new love, disregarding him, maybe because up until now, he's not made a decision. So she's on the move. And that's how he sees her. Moving to the next card for the feminine. This will show how the feminine views the divine masculine. How she feels he is in his life. What she believes he's going through. What is on his mind from her perspective. Ten of Wands. More fire energy. The feminine believes the masculine is under a lot of pressure. He's highly stressed. She may feel he is on the brink of ending a long cycle of his life. It could be simply of stress and anxiety. 
it could be that there's something that's been weighing very heavily on him emotionally. And she knows he's about to make a change. Is he going to try and stagger forward with that weight on his back or in his heart? Or is he going to put the burden down? Is he going to end a long-term situation or is he going to carry on? She knows he is feeling a lot of pressure. She could feel it intuitively if these two are psychically connected, which of course, being twins, they would be. Moving to the next set of cards. These are going to portray how each twin views the connection with the other twin. The actual relationship that's been built up between the two of them up until this point of time. So let's first of all have a look at the masculine's energy to see how he views the connection with the feminine from his point of view. Yeah. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel the Divine Masculine is on the brink of speaking his truth, opening up. Previously, he could have been watching the Divine Feminine from behind the scenes, from behind the curtain, not wanting to say anything. Could be fear of the reaction. It could be worry of what may then transpire in revealing his truth. It could be that he is no longer worried about his finances at this time, simply that. So with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel the masculine sees the connection as one in which he wants to talk to the feminine about. Why do I feel so connected with you? Why do I feel this energy with you? Do you want to discuss the connection that we have? I'm ready to come out of the shadows and talk to you about this. The masculine may also be simply wanting the feminine to know that he has been up until this time concentrating on his financial security. He's less worried about his finances. So there could have been a change in the masculine's life, which was very burdensome, relating to a job change or a loss of money. We move now to the third card for the feminine. This will portray how the feminine sees the relationship, if I can speak, the relationship, the connection with her divine masculine. Oh, okay. Seven of Swords. This could have started out as a secret connection where the connection was hidden for some reason. It could be that the Divine Feminine is very nervous. She may feel the Divine Masculine is wanting to strategize as to how to move towards her and is very nervous about that energy. She's faced a lot of burden in her life, I'm feeling already. And it could be relating to the masculine or maybe other things in her life. And she is not wanting to deal with that energy again. Seven of Swords. So she may believe the masculine is going to open up, is going to reach out. He's felt very alone, but she doesn't trust him. The trust would need to be rebuilt. I'm hearing from the ground up. I'm hearing brick by brick. We move now to the next set of cards. These will portray the messages that each twin wants to relay to the other twin, soul to soul. These could be questions one twin wants to relay to the other twin, ask the other twin. Maybe questions they haven't had the courage to ask face to face, or maybe it was impossible if there was a lack of communication. These could be pieces of information that one twin wants to say to the other twin but maybe doesn't have the courage to say face to face so this would be soul at soul level maybe during dream state maybe these two people are coming together maybe moving into astral travel in order to communicate important facts between the two of them let's have a look and see what the masculine wants to say to the feminine now and over the course of June.
Seven of Cups. I'm hearing the masculine wants to say to the feminine, I dipped into other options. I wasn't honest with you about that. There were other people in the mix. The masculine may also be wanting to relate to the feminine that he's simply been trying to figure out what would make him happy. What type of connection would I really want? We have passion. We have spiritual connection, soul connection. We have intellect. We have peace and with the dove. We have here with the green we have the energy of maybe potentially wanting something that will grow and expand to build a foundation. So it may be that the masculine is saying to the feminine, I have tried to be, I've tried to work out in my mind. I've tried to keep my feet on the ground. I've tried to be practical and find out exactly what I want from a connection. This may be the divine masculine's way of saying to the feminine, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I had to figure out in my mind what I really wanted. Now, it could be that the masculine says to the feminine, I don't want a serious relationship. I just want to be young, free and single, but I want to reconnect with you. If the divine feminine feels that the masculine is sitting in the seven of swords energy, she may well say no. This queen of wands will may not take action on the masculine. If there's any feeling of insecurity about what he wants with her she will be sitting in the energy of the empress she is looking for an emperor so she may be pushing him away if he comes forward with that message i'm just dating it could be of course that the masculine wants to say to the feminine i'm very confused about my feelings and it could be that there's been no contact between the masculine and the feminine for a while and so he may not be sure of her situation he may not be sure of her feelings. If there was disconnect in the past, angst, arguments, pain, heartbreak involved between the two of them, the masculine may feel the feminine is still angry and upset. And so there's confusion as to how she would take it if he reached out to her and expressed his feelings. Confusion. So it could be the question from the masculine to the feminine. How do you feel about me? I'm so confused. We move now to the fourth card for the feminine. This, of course, will show the messages that the feminine wishes to pass to her divine twin. Yes, I felt that energy from the feminine, page of swords. I'm hearing, I just want the truth. Even if it's painful for you to relay, even though it's uncomfortable, I just want the truth. So it may well be that this is a connection that was based on a lot of confusion in the past. Maybe things that were hidden. Maybe a little bit of manipulation. And the feminine is simply asking the masculine to be honest with her, even if it's painful. Because this is usually a very straightforward, sometimes difficult message to portray. There could be a conversation here about a child. But the Page of Swords takes no prisoners. It's also a very small, short communication. This isn't days and days of conversation. This may even be a text or an email reply to maybe the masculine reaching out. The masculine may want to get back in contact with the feminine, but the feminine's view is there was manipulation before. I can feel that you're burdened about this. I'm still feeling very unbalanced. I don't have the facts. I've had to pick up the pieces of something dissolving in my life. It could even have been the hope of being with the masculine. So, Page of Swords, just tell me the truth. The truth of your situation, the truth of your feelings, and then I'll respond. Moving to the next set of cards. These will portray the challenges and obstacles that each twin is facing that they need to overcome in order to move into union in the 3D in this lifetime. These, of course, can relate to long distance, financial issues, other people in the mix, family members, 
culture, religion, children. Let's have a look and see what the masculine's main challenges are that he feels he needs to overcome in order to come together with the feminine. Seven of Pentacles. What is very interesting is this is looking back at the past. This is looking at the financial investment of a situation that has been built up. This could be another relationship. The masculine's challenge may be, do I lose this financial security in ending a long term situation that I'm still hanging on to? This is also potentially, though, a masculine who is reviewing his financial security and wondering whether or not he should maybe remain single. Am I better off alone? Do I want to just date? Do I want to be in a relationship? So this is the masculine reviewing the past. It could be more financial. It could be just based around his emotional stability. So this is the masculine still needing to do some thinking. He's moved out of a place of anxiety, though. But I believe he is still caught up in a long term cycle, whatever that is. And the feminine feels that burden that he's going through. Moving to the fifth card for the feminine, let's have a look and see what the main challenges are that the feminine faces. Blocks that she has to remove from the twin flame path in order to come together with her divine twin. Two swords. The feminine may have been blocking her emotions to try and maybe move away from the divine masculine to move on to a different path. Maybe fearing he's still holding manipulative energy. With the two of swords, the feminine may also feel challenged because there's confusion. She's not ready to make a decision because she feels she's wearing a blindfold. She doesn't really know if the masculine is going to be honest with her, truthful with her, what his real situation is, what he's really wanting from her. So she cannot make a decision without the truth. Very interesting. So Divine Twins, we come to the penultimate two cards of the reading. These will portray what each twin is hoping for, pertaining to the connection with the other twin by the end of June or thereabouts. First of all, let's delve into the energy of the masculine to see what he's hoping for, pertaining to the connection with his Divine Feminine. Interesting. Four swords in reverse. The Divine Masculine has been feeling heartbroken. He's felt very sad. He's also been in deep reflection, contemplation about his life up until now. He may feel as if he's been through a battle. He's definitely potentially, though, ready to pick up that sword and take action towards the feminine. I feel that this burden that the feminine knows he's been carrying is too much and he knows he needs to make some kind of decision. He's ready to do it by the end of June. So twins, we look at the final card for the Divine Feminine. This will show what the feminine is really hoping for pertaining to the connection with her Divine Twin. Now this is interesting because Feminines out there, you may know what you're hoping for, but this can be a subconscious wish. The Magician in Reverse. Very clearly, I feel that the Divine Feminine is hoping that the Divine Masculine does not move into manipulative energy, that he clears any shadow energy, any negativity, any fear, which could result in manipulation. I almost feel as if the feminine is hoping that the divine masculine thinks very carefully about what he will be taking action on pertaining to her. This is a feminine who may feel the divine masculine is not ready. And so if you're not ready, if you're holding any manipulative energy, 
I'd rather you wait. I will wait. Wow. Twins, let's have a look at the energy between the two twins. And this will be felt by the end of June. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Hi, Priestess. I feel that both twins are going to be very strongly psychically linked by the end of June. There may be a lot of astral travel, a lot of communication in the fifth dimension, but there may not be actually any talking. There could be a situation where a Pisces is very significant. It could be that both twins are still fantasizing about being with each other, but there's a lot of fear coming through. Okay, so let's find out what the twins want to say to each other. Let's get those messages going for you guys. Moving into Twin Flame Messages, Volume 2. Here we go, Mystic Moon. Calling on the angels, the archangels and ascended masters. Can we first have messages, please? From the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. From the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. That wants to be shown. Okay. The Divine Masculine says to the Feminine, a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Wow. The Divine Masculine says to the Feminine, I thought about reaching out to you, but then I stopped myself. So there may not be any communication between the twins at this point of time. And there may not be for the month of June with the High Priestess. Last, third message from the Masculine to the Feminine. Okay. I look at your picture often. Okay. All right. So Archangel Michael, can you help us please? We would like messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. That one is really wanting to come out. Okay, wow. The Divine Feminine says to the masculine, I know I made a huge mistake. Now, this could be getting involved with the masculine to begin with. It could be that there's something that she did which she regrets. And it's caused the masculine a lot of anxiety, maybe. Messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. Messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I want to say to you. I get the impression both twins want to have communication in the 3D. They want to talk, but fear is keeping both of them apart. We have from the masculine, I've thought about reaching out to you, then I stopped myself. The feminine is, I'm trying to think what I want to say to you. These two people really want to talk. These two twins. Last and final message from the Divine Feminine to the Masculine. Thank you, Michael. The same, take the bottom card. Oh, wow. There is hope, guys. It all comes down to timing. So maybe the Divine feels that the twins are not ready to come into union yet. One cycle needs to close out. And I feel that the Feminine needs to complete her healing. Okay. Beautiful reading though, guys. Very interesting. So I'm leaving it there. If you would like your own Twin Flame reading, you can reach out to me. The details are below, deborahclair.com. If you want to find out more about your Twin's energy and go into extending the Twin's energy, 
then you need to book an extended Twin Flame reading. Sending lots of love and light your way. Take care of you. Many blessings. Bye now.